Welcome back to the channel everyone on this fine sunny afternoon. We're gonna take a little bit of a drive through the woods and do somewhat of a controversial video. As far as controversial videos go when you're watching WRX content, we're gonna be talking about whether or not the power levels from stock and the stock tune are adequate for the VBWRX, that is specifically the 2022 Plus WRX platform. And we're gonna really talk about that in reference to about six months of ownership, actually more than that for me, about eight months of ownership for me on the stock pull up form, having driven some tuned ones, and we're just gonna talk about overall performance and we're talking about it in juxtaposition to somebody that's come from a tuned VAWX making significantly more horsepower than this car. But we're gonna have a little bit of fun doing it too and hit some corners here. See, this car is still quite fun to drive. Okay, so let's say you own one of these cars, you're thinking about one of them, you might be asking yourself, do I need to tune it? And I think my opinion has changed over my ownership. And I think that when I first got this car, it was performing in a way that was similar to my tuned WRX in the characteristics of power delivery. And it did still have some power, you know, obviously it's making more power stock than the VA WRX, and I was pretty happy. But what I found is that this car has been refined in a way that at first I thought it was a nice change. It gave me more of the luxury vibe. But in the long run, and before I tell you the long run, let's do a little bit of a pull here. It's a little uphill, but let's go for it. Bad shift. Ah, uh, that was a bad shift. It was a good, it wasn't a great pull. But um, I think when I first got the car, I was so enamored with the refined performance, the mapping, everything. It was just a more refined car. But now that I've owned it for longer, I've realized that being more refined takes away a little bit of the fun. So from a power perspective, if you're just daily driving it, I would say that this is an improvement over the VA and the power is okay, but it's not great. It's nothing to write home with. Honestly, it's nothing really, you know, even just, just talk about in general. But I will say that where you do lose a little bit of the fun, let's say, driving the car, is that with the VA platform, it was a little more raw, and it was just more fun to drive even with less power because it was more raw. And because of that, I do think you actually need more power just to have fun with this car equal to equal. And that, again, my opinion has changed over time and putting more miles on the car and doing more fun things like, you know, driving through here. And now obviously I'm focused on talking, so it's not like I'm ripping around every corner, but you know, when I do rip around every corner and, you know, get through areas like this, you know, I, I want more power. So where am I getting here? Do I need to tune the car? You don't need to tune the car, but my opinion is, is tuning this car is probably the answer to everything that I'm looking for. And, you know, personally, that's why I have a very short time frame for a plan of getting this car tuned. I didn't think I was going to do it, but that seems to be the new and, you know, future plan for the ride because I'm realizing that the reality is, is I'm just not happy with this level of power. The power is great, but I can feel it in the car. It's like I can feel the potential. And maybe that's the best way to describe it. You drive this car and you realize that it could have so much more. And I say that as somebody that's driven a tuned WRX before. And if you've never had a tuned WRX before, you'll realize that these things open up when you open them up and they are completely different cars. And I'm realizing that I'm just craving what this car has to offer opened up because I think that's what would create like the perfect situation and the perfect ride is just an opened up vehicle. And it's funny, I really didn't feel this way when I first bought the car. And I don't know if that's me changing as somebody that appreciates that this car. I don't know if it's me, you know, kind of getting over the honeymoon phase of the car because well, and I almost don't want to say that because I feel like the honeymoon phase is actually when you tune it and you're like, holy crap. Like, cause like, even just owning this car, like it's like 30% of the fun. And when you tune it and you realize what you can get out of that, uh, it becomes like a lot more of the fun. Let's give this a little bit of gas around this corner. I mean, it's still a fast car. Like, don't get me wrong, hang on, I gotta slow down. Uh, it's still a fast car and it's a lot of fun and it corners, but like when you tune it, you get to like 200% satisfaction, not just 30%. And it's just amazing because you're like, how is this even possible? And I guess that is what I'm missing is that 
overwhelming like whoa and i think that the vawx even though tuned i was only making 315 wheel horsepower i think the car was so raw in its driving experience that that 315 horsepower felt like way more than it actually was and now knowing that i can do very similar modifications and make 350 360 370 with this car with much more torque you know there's a lot of opportunity here and i think that's really bugging me so that is the video the sock car does need more power i think that it's you know and i say it's controversial because i think that a lot of people are very happy with the way this car performs stock especially with the actual like numbers of you know wheel horsepower that's being delivered on a stock tune and it is impressive like don't get me wrong it is a nice change and this has nice power band nice characteristics it just screams i want more but with that said i do want to leave you guys with one thing and it's something that i've been thinking about for the channel for some time now and you can click off if you're not a fan of the channel but if you are a fan of the channel i want to get your opinions guys on what's coming next for the channel so i've got two routes for the future of this channel so the route number one is to either rebuild a wrecked car uh, and that would not be a Subaru. Well, maybe, but it would probably be something a little bit more faster out of the gate, something that I would have for a little bit longer. It might even be a VA, you know, STI or something like that where I'm doing a deeper build and actually building the engine, or an R35 GTR. And I think that the downside to the R35 GTR is it wouldn't be in addition to the VB, it would replace the VB. Let's get another pull though. Let's see if I can do a better pull here. First gear is so slow. Third is the best pull. Ratios here, it's tough. First gear is really tough. It's all about how quickly can you get out of first gear. I just realized I was in neutral. I don't know why I put it back into neutral, very weird. It's funny, when you start making videos, you forget a little bit about what you're doing and you have to teach yourself the muscle memory of being able to think to regurgitate information and do that. So I guess the short answer is, if I were to rebuild a car, drop in the comment section below what car you'd like me to see or what car you would like me to rebuild on the channel and think something fun because if I'm going to rebuild something and I'm doing the project I can tackle really anything it doesn't have to be like you know like I know a lot of you guys want to see me rebuild a BRZ but there's not a lot that I can do with a BRZ it's, even if I'm just opening the engine and doing like you know forced induction there's still not a lot of like potential for the platform so I'd want to do something a little bit more exciting something where I can build a little more raw power because if I'm rebuilding something I have a little bit more freedom to cut out weight and do all of those, these other things so let me know in the comment section what you'd like to see me rebuild or if you'd like to see this channel switch to something that was a little bit more high performance now I'm not saying that I'll never have a WRX again but in reality to pick up the R35 I'd probably have to put down the VB for a little while just to get the R35 because that market is insane right now. So let me know in the comment section below. I appreciate you if you've stuck this far through the video and otherwise I'll see you guys in the next video. Enjoy your weekends.